Uh, I put in a slide that just shows you the kind of accounting issues that we published research on in 2006. Uh, we publish in three broad areas, uh, adjustments to financial statements, uh, what are new rules and the credit implications of those rules, and then what about some big events that have occurred, what are the credit, impl credit implications of those. We think good accounting research in our space talks briefly about the accounting, but that's not its focus. Its big focus is on the credit impact of what the accounting change is, and then we try to have appendices in the back that lay out data that show which companies appear to be most impacted uh, by, the, uh, by the change. You have been extremely kind in listening uh, uh, to this. It's been a real pleasure to present this. It's a wonderfully interesting area, and I hope my enthusiasm for this has come through, and, and I'm just elated that there seems to be more academic research these days into the area uh, of this, and, and I really encourage you to do it. And I can assure you that, that uh, we, we, we try to be students of the academic research, and uh, I think we, there's a good chance you can influence how we do things uh, through quality research. I think we really are open-minded and, and thinking that we can do things better and need to over time. So uh, I would really encourage those of you who have an interest in this area to, to go after it. Uh, it really is a fascinating uh, thing. and it's related. I don't show a couple of robustness tests because we didn't have time, but I refer to my robustness test now. The, I will repeat the question. The question is very important to my paper. Okay, so the question asked is, if we condition the sample on, on the basis of shot selling constraints, would we find a different result? Uh, that's what I was trying to get at up front. With nice securities, you can short whatever you want, whenever you want in this time period. Uh, but we also got data from one of the prime brokers that says you know, in a given month, here are the 23 securities or 50 securities on NICE that it's bloody hard to short. Throw those names out, you do still see a similar pattern and see exactly the same thing. The question is, are short sellers simply responding to the report that, uh, uh, that uh, we have? I don't believe so in the sense, okay, so the way we tried to go after that question was to examine uh, important news events for these firms over the next 12 months, uh, as I showed you in one of the earlier tables. And we document that many of these firms have negative news, which is correlated with earnings. For example, the firm comes out and says that our reported earnings are going to be lower than what the analysts expected, or they lowered the guidance, or there is an analyst downgrade. So at least the evidence seems consistent with the fact that short sellers are perhaps able to recognize that based on their fundamental analysis, uh, the negative surprises that subsequently come out, and they take positions early on. And then when the negative surprises comes out, you observe the stock price reaction, which generates their returns. Are there other ways to obtain short exposure? And can we interact specialness with these other ways of obtaining short exposure that might affect specialness? And one of the ways of obtaining short exposure that's not borrowing stocks that was brought up is the options market. Um, the options market is clearly a secondary way of getting short exposure or, or maybe a primary way for some market participants. And so I've controlled for options here in this regression and, and in the later regressions. The interaction, the interaction could be important. And, and so, so the thing is it gets very difficult to think about the connection between specialness and options though. Because when you think about an options market maker, we actually have a paper on this. And when you think about an options market maker writing a put option, for instance, what does that options market maker eventually have to do? The options market maker eventually has to lay off that exposure by short selling him or herself. And we have, we have data from one options market maker, and we show exactly that.